Okay, it is time for another tea review video. And for today, we are going to be trying some Chinese green tea that my uncle got from China from a business trip. Thank you, uncle. Now, if you're wondering why I made it so clear that it's Chinese green tea, it's because if you watched this video, I don't know which side it's gonna be on, but it's a link to a video about how they process green tea. But you learned that Chinese green tea is pan fried to stop oxidation, which gives it a nice roast tea flavor compared to Japanese green tea, which is steamed, which gives it a nice seaweed kind of flavor. I'd go into better description in the video I had a link to. Now, it's in this very cool box that I want you to see better, so let me get a better angle of it. Oh yes, look at this very cool box. Look at that artwork. Look at those words that I can't read. And there's nothing else on this side, this side, this side. But as you can see, do, 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 do. yes, it's cardboard that you just take out. It's a whole tin. Look at that. Look how cute it is. Look how cool it is. Look how nice it is. What a nice, relaxing color. Look at that flower. Oh my gosh. And yes, it can open up too. Check, check. check. Ooh, what does this say? I don't know. Look, it's gold though. It's reflective. Yes! I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying. Ho oh, oh. ho. Next up is the tea tins. One of these tea tins is empty. I don't think it's this one. This thing right here. I really don't know what that thing is. This tea, this tea tin is empty. It's so nice. And you can keep it. It's something I can read. Featured tea. Refined Chinese tea gift. So I, I not ate. I drank all the tea that was in here. And I don't know what type of tea it is. I know it's not um bullet tea? Bullet tea. Gunpowder tea. Because it's not rolled into little little tiny balls. Now let's open up this tea tin to get a look at what the tea really looks like. So when you open up the tea tin, you get this little bag. You get the bag out, and there's the tea in it. Actually, I'm not even gonna try to show you. There's not a lot left. I've been drinking a lot of this. But this is what the tea looks like. Let me get my pointer. And here's what the tea looks like. Look at that nice whole leaf not any of the mulchy kind of tea that we looked at with the alice in wonderland tea bags also yes loose leaf no tea bag you have to have your own strainer for this look at those look you can see the whole leaf look at that no mulchy whole whole leaf make me happy tea that's what kind of tea this is i wish i actually knew what kind of tea this was all i know is that it's green tea and it's from china that's all I really know about it. But still, why not taste it and review it and tell you what I think about it? So, let's go make the tea. Look at that color. So I'm looking at the tea in real life and the tea in the camera. Um, the tea on the camera looks, you know, pretty much like a white tea, like the white tea we had. But um, let's see if it looks white. No, it's still pretty light. But um, in real life, it looks it looks green. 
but on the camera it looks white. But look at that color. It's nice on here too though. And now it's time to taste our tea. But first, the sniff. Kinda smells like toasted water. If that description confuses you, it's okay, it's confusing me, but that's the best way I can describe it. So imagine toasty water. Kind of relaxing smell. Now for a sip. Green tea. Green tea. Toasty, warm, relaxing, a nice hug. That's what it feels like. And that's what I need. A nice hug. After I learned more about how green tea is processed, I can taste what really goes into it. I can tell that, yeah, this wasn't steamed. It was pan fried. Sadly, I'm not an expert tea taster. I'm just a novice, but I'm trying. All good things to say about this though. It's giving me relaxation, but also boosting up my energy so I can do stuff, so I can just shake in my chair, I guess. That's all I'm doing right now, and drinking and relaxing. Because unlike coffee, that just gives you caffeine, tea, gives you caffeine, but it also has some chemicals in it that also helps lower you down and relax you. That's why I like it a lot, because it gives me the energy to do stuff, but not freak out about doing stuff. It's a very light flavor. It's not heavy, unless you add more than one teaspoon. Then it gets a heavier flavor, but it's very light. It's very, hello, hi. And yeah, you can taste it being, you know, not steamed. It's a pan fried tea. It's a very nice tea. It's very relaxing tea. I'm sorry I can't describe much of the taste because there's not a lot going on other than it's what you would assume a leaf would taste like, but not bad. A good tasting leaf water. Leaf water, good tasting leaf water. That's what I'm getting from this a little smoky toasty. So yeah, I think I need to vote on this now. Now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks golden and not green. I'm partially colorblind, so this is a problem when I'm describing colors. But yeah, I think I need to give a rate, rate this one. So I'm gonna rate this 7.5 out of 10 because it does exactly what it needs to do. It makes me happy, makes me relax, gives me energy, and happy thoughts, happy tea, happy me. Happy you? Maybe. You get your try the tea. Maybe you like it. I wish I knew what kind of tea other than just Chinese green tea, but that's all I know. And it still tastes good. So I'm happy. <sighs> Have a good day.